<laughs> hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to our home renovation remodel thing. Oh, it's been, it's been a little while. For us, we've been kind of off this for about nine weeks now. We did a few things back in December. It is January 24th and we're ready to get back into the project, which is uh, exciting and also a little scary because there's a lot more work that has to happen. So to catch you up with what we did previously back in, back in October, I think, in parts two through 12, we built the shell of the sunroom, which is back here. So this was all, this used to be a deck, and now it's a space that's ready for some windows and finishes later on. In episode, what episodes were those? Those were 13 and 14. We added this small addition here on the front of the house. Boom, this is where the future kitchen sink is gonna go. And uh, we're gonna move the front door somewhere else. We have a few things going on in the great room as well. So if we step up here into the great room, a few kind of smaller things are gonna happen in here. So first off, you can see we have some bookshelves and some smaller windows here on this uh, east wall. We're going to be replacing these small windows and removing the bookshelves. We'll be taking this window here, which is the same as that one over there, and moving it into one of these two openings. And then we have another one that matches we should go in there as well. So that'll let a lot more light in here and allow us to see more of the, uh, the property in that direction. So this will get filled in. We have a new entryway into this room here. So that's gonna replace the current one over there. And uh, that's really gonna help to unify the great room with the kitchen and the sunroom area, making this more of a cohesive uh, single space versus the great room being its own uh, separate thing right now. So to give a little more context, let's go take a look at the plans real quick so you can get a better feel for the floor plan, which is coming very soon. So here is the, the floor plan that we're working towards here. So you can see the current entryway is uh, separated up by the current exterior walls, which are right here. There is the larger back addition we did in the fall, and there is a smaller front addition we did in the fall. So this will allow us to create one really long area here and have a nice unified area between the kitchen and this nice little sunroom area. We're also gaining a pantry and we're gonna add a little breakfast nook area in here, which is kind of where we're standing right now. So Donovan's here covering up the floor to hopefully preserve some of this. Not completely destroy it, hopefully. Not completely destroy, just somewhat. Because <laughs> the floor in the great room is staying. So you have this uh, fancy, well, like cardboardy paper stuff? Builder board. Builder, builder board. You build things out of this board. Yep. You don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you protect things. So the floor is all protected, and this is gonna be our pathway here to remove all of the demolition debris from the, uh, the current entryway as we completely destroy it and turn it into the new kitchen space. So in the interest of keeping the rest of the house uh, clean and not full of crap. We're gonna relocate this door. That one goes there, and we'll seal the house off. Essentially seal this whole section of the house off. Yeah, it's gonna be weird to not have this anymore. Thank you for the idea of waiting until now until after the holidays to lose most of the house. <laughs> you know, <laughs> client expectations. <laughs> it's, it's, it's down here somewhere. <laughs> You know, just, it, it worked out well to pull off. I mean, when we started was, we really, the goal was to get the foundation in and get this thing enclosed. And we got a lot further than we had thought because we had a heck of a mild winter, uh, we did. fall. We, we weren't expecting to do, actually, it was just gonna be put the foundation, put a cap on it. And we put the foundation, put the cap on, framed it, put the roof on, did the front addition, put shingles on the front addition. <laughs> And now we've got concrete downstairs. Yeah, we're, like, we're shingling in December. Yep. Because <laughs> it was hot. It's warm enough to shingle. Yeah. So now we can t you know, seal this off from the house and then we'll, again, bring, we'll tear all the sheetrock out of here, expose the framing, get rid of this wonderful wall, <laughs> get rid of the ductwork that's up here yep. that needs to go away. And then we can kind of assess where we're at from there. And then we start taking up our big framing walls and. Right. So. This should be an interesting week. Should be. Yeah. Lots of demo. Hang on. I have something for you. I uh -oh. forgot it downstairs. To celebrate. Oh God. Your favorite step of the project. I bestow upon you a pack of fresh 
Ooh, ooh. Sawzall blades. Ooh, ooh. These are, and these are the good ones. And those are the good ones. Because these are about 12 bucks a blade. Yes. So they're carbide. They actually, these are actually really good. So that's like You did use them a lot. So I figured you'd actually I would put use those these. to use. Oh, nice Christmas <laughs> present. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Flush it up with uh, the wall, top to bottom. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Bang, boom, boom. It's weird because this used to be the door. Used to be the door. Still is the door. You put the door back where the door used to be. Yeah, this was the old back door, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, this was the door into the little mudroom area right here. Why don't we grab some of that fiberglass? And we'll stuff oh. in around here. To... Like, that's not going to make a very good shim. Well, no. <laughs> You're not gonna foam this in place? I the foam is frozen in the truck. <laughs> I was going to foam it, but it's frozen. <laughs> oh, I love when I make a joke and you're like, yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna do. <laughs> You've been around me too long, yeah, I think. A, it's definitely the case. Oh good. Tear it off the wall.
You want to grab that mat right there? Yep. Go ahead and take it out. Because we're creating dust in here, we've got, uh, it's called a negative air machine or a air scrubber. It's a two filter system that has a, uh, like a filter that would be similar to what you'd have in your furnace and then behind that has a HEPA filter. And what it'll do is it'll scrub the air, take all the particles out of the house or out of the air and then just recirculate it back into the house. Um, sometimes if we're doing, on some houses we'll actually vent it outside, create a negative pressure through the rest of the house were sealed up well enough in here and it's almost zero degrees outside. <laughs> it's Fahrenheit. It's Fahrenheit. Yeah, zero Fahrenheit. Zero, so we don't want to do that. So, but this will help scrub down and take the dust down and uh, help keeping the, you know, with us for our lungs and then also for the keeping it out of the house. So and it cleans the air pretty well. Yeah, because you're sitting like, you're standing in the there's haze. A, there's a, there's there's a, a haze. cloud around you, yes. Yep. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> Um, so we'll get that going now and then uh, uh, keep the air cleaner. Is that we're lined up on this wall? We're gonna, we'll strip this to bare studs on this wall right now. You mean exterior? Huh? Exterior? Yep, yeah, so we'll, we'll just like, now that we're set up here, we'll just do this whole thing. Okay. You got a big sledgehammer? Yeah, why?
Somebody went and made a saw cut up there. Oh yeah! I heard you cut that loose many episodes ago for a reason. That's the one. Look how nicely it comes out. Wow, that baby is on there. For a while. Got it? It's open. It is a lot more open. Wow. Feels weird. All the way through. <laughs> My corner beads. If you're gonna use those, they come right off. If we use them, push. Yeah, we'll just put those back up, no problem. Da -da, da -da. It's it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger. It's like even double size. Just the closet's not being there. Yeah. And, and that, that weird wall that thing weird wall the that gone. broke up the whole space. Yep. I think once we get the, the stair thing out of there, that's gonna be even more ridiculous. Yep. And then we open and up the wall get, to the front. That last wall. Has another ceiling. another four feet there, and this wall is going to go away. And this is going to be a big space. Like this is a nice big space. Like yeah, you can. We got thirty. The, I guess well, the three car garage down below plus three feet. It's thirty five feet, right? I think. Something like that. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. So we're we're we're, we're <laughs> getting close to forty feet. Yeah, it's a good sized corridor. Kind yeah. of thing. It'll be good divided up, but it's going to divide up into like you know you got three spaces: a kitchen. The breakfast nook, pantry, yeah. and then the sunroom back here. So, but they'll be all pretty connected. Yeah, we will see. Like you can see all the way through, though, from yeah, one from side one of windows the windows to the other. Yeah. Which I think is from the be. kitchen, you can. From the deck, you can see out to the backyard. <laughs> you see straight through the whole house. Straight through the whole house. Yep. <laughs> That's what we did. Three hours, roughly. We got a pretty late start after so getting start kind of prepped. Getting, getting set up, getting prepped, and trying to do the. Floor protection and that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's, that's we got one trailer full. Yeah, one whole load already yep. stuff, which is going to go out tonight. And then so tomorrow we're going to get back to probably finishing up in here, but we're also going to have HVAC here tomorrow. HVAC is here tomorrow, so we may end up having to yeah. Well, it'll be, it's shift. Good, it'll be exciting to finally see where that's going to go because it's been kind of a not super priority, but also be like kind of nice to not have to worry about that duct work that's yeah, in the middle of our hallway. The duct work here that goes away. Yes. There's plenty of, part of that. plenty of duck stuff that's yep. going to happen. So and then once we get the ceiling, then um, we'll probably start looking at a path for the hood. We got all kinds of stuff. For the, the range vent. The range vent. Yeah. Yep. It's a lot. So, <laughs> so that's going to do it for this one. Yep. Tomorrow, for us, it'll be tomorrow. We'll be back to work here, and you can be here all, all week. So we got all five week. straight days with Donovan. Yay. The five days of Donovan. Then I'm leaving. Then you're, then you're out of here I'm again. I'm abandoning That's again. as long as you can handle. It's like uh, a week at a time. A week at a time, then I'm out of here. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If any questions or comments on this uh, destruction thing or anything in the house or anything on the home addition or model or whatever, 
Donovan's been answering questions lately, so you can ask him some questions and he'll probably answer you. Sometimes. Or you can go visit his YouTube channel because he has one of those, and you can what? check out his videos where he's got over there. If you want to see a tour of his tool trailer, we shot a video that's over there on his channel as well. How fast can I talk about you? Very fast. Very fast. <laughs> Somebody's going to talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, happy destructive woodworking. Tear, tear it apart. Tear it apart. There's wood in here somewhere. Yep. <laughs>